Feeling sad today, guys and girls. Right, this is another synonym equivalent video. We're going to learn other words other than sad. Because just using sad all the time in English is boring. And we want to be more fluent, better at English. So, instead of sad, let's use any of these cool words in our sentences. You can write some comments down below, that would be cool. Using the words. Right, not random comments, come on. Okay, let's start with solemn. Solemn atmosphere. Hmm. Similar to sad, solemn. Down. This is definitely a feeling. Somebody's feeling down. They're feeling bad and sad and rad. Not rad, but definitely sad. Somber is a bit similar to sol solemn. It's describing the atmosphere, maybe at a funeral or something like that. Depressed. Again, this is a feeling, and you've probably heard of depression, which is something that some people suffer from. Depressed. Feeling down. It's funny, the two S words have linked together and the two D words have linked together, but it wasn't planned. It's like magic. Mournful. When somebody's in mourning, they're usually missing somebody who has died recently. So mournful. Another great word for sad. Despairing. Let me try and do some of my famous acting skills for despairing. Oh no, I'm despairing. So this is probably the most extreme word on the board. And what else we got? Miserable. There's that famous French musical, which I don't know how to pronounce. Miserable, probably from French origins. Also a good word to use. Oh, I'm so miserable that this video will soon end. Blue is funny. Uh, I wonder how it works in your languages. I'm feeling blue. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling rubbish. So I'm hoping that this video didn't make you feel mournful, somber. I hope I didn't set a solemn atmosphere. I hope you're not feeling blue now. Right, this has been Charles Wood, English teacher. Feeling sad today. Wait, not sad. Feeling miserable today. This is your language tutor online. Know what I'm saying? I hope you're not feeling like that. I hope you're feeling, because actually you've improved your English. Well done. Good job. Good work. Keep going. Keep practicing your English. Keep, keep rolling in. Ooh, I'm feeling happier now, but I'm feeling sad. It's quite the Sim Simpsons of a character called Ralph after eating lots of sugar. I'm happy and I'm angry.